The most difficult challenge facing Irish agriculture is its emission of greenhouse gases and the consequent impact on climate change. The simple facts are, agriculture accounts for 33% of Irish greenhouse gas emissions and Europe has set a target to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 40% by 2030. Reducing emissions in other sectors involves increased energy efficiency and shifting to renewable sources. However, reducing agricultural emissions is more complex but it is essential that agriculture plays its part. There are three main agricultural greenhouse gas emissions. Firstly, there's methane. It's emitted from the digestion process in cattle and sheep and from slurry stores. It accounts for almost two thirds of our agricultural emissions. The second is nitrous oxide. It is emitted when urine and faeces are excreted onto land and when organic and chemical fertilizer are applied. This accounts for approximately one third of agricultural emissions. Thirdly, carbon dioxide from fuel and electricity accounts for less than 5% of our emissions. Reducing methane and nitrous oxide is challenging. There's no silver bullet. To reduce emissions, we need to focus on improving efficiency of production, adopting practices and technologies that can lead to uh, reduced emissions, and changing land use, such as planting more forestry and energy crops. Chagas research has played its part in the worldwide effort to quantify and reduce agricultural greenhouse gas emissions. Chagas published a paper titled A Marginal Abatement Cost Curve for Irish Agriculture, which identified and costed farm actions to reduce emissions. This was the basis of developing the Carbon Navigator. In 2012, Chagas and Board Bia jointly developed the Carbon Navigator as a decision support system to assist Irish farmers to reduce their emissions there were a number of objectives. Firstly, to raise awareness amongst farmers and advisors and to provide information on the measures they could take. Secondly, to encourage farmers to set targets for emissions reductions and thirdly, to provide detailed advice on how to implement those agreed actions. Using the programme involves the farm advisor working with the farmer. They assess the farmer's current position and then the potential impact of proposed changes on the farm's emissions and on farm income. They agree on the changes that need to be made to achieve those targets and finally the programme produces a recommendation sheet for the farmer. Yeah, so the Carbon nav Navigator identifies where I can cut emissions and leaves me with the advice I need to achieve the reduction targets. The Carbon Navigator has been used with 35,000 Irish farmers and it has helped them to focus on and reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. However, with Changing technologies and with the development of, of agriculture, it's important for Borbia and ourselves that we continue to develop the Carbon Navigator to support farmers to reduce their emissions and to lower their impact on climate change.